people are afraid of mathematics. It's a, it's a source of fear and anxiety. I think we all hated math. Yeah, yeah. we all hated, we all hated it. Like, <laughs> instead. Many people think of mathematics as dull formulas in a textbook and it could not be further from the truth. I'm Eddie Wu and I teach high school mathematics in Sydney, Australia. My grandparents were born in China. They fled there during the World Wars and came to Malaysia where my parents were born and they themselves left that country to come here, Australia, because they valued education. I was a student who struggled with mathematics and I would be the person who put up my hand and said, wait, can you explain it again? And it took me hours and hours beating my head against the textbook trying to understand. And so when I got to university and started to train to become a teacher, I thought about mathematics in a very different way. I discovered what mathematics was. I discovered that it's, it's patterns that are woven into the universe. Students need someone who believes in them. Every student deserves a champion, someone who is going to absolutely place the utmost faith in them and never give up on them. One of my favourite ways to get kids engaged with mathematics is to simply show them a card trick. We don't know very much about these cards, but mathematically, I can actually see through and know there's a pattern underneath here that you cannot see yet. He's a pretty famous teacher in Australia, but he's about personal relationships. There's lots of talking, there's lots of passion, and he's always looking for the way to get every single student in the class to understand the concept. How many cards did you get that matched on both sides? I've heard people who got eight and eight, four and four. I've heard a seven and seven, a six and six. Oh, the card tricks blew my mind. Like, oh, that was so cool. When you just reach that final step and then it just clicks. Let's go outside. Bring your bottle, your paper, and your pen. Let's go. Say your, say your number as I come around. 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 24. <laughs> <laughs> oh so what we're doing right now is we're trying to use probability and statistics to solve a problem. And we're using bottle flipping because kids love to flip bottles. So we're having a lot of fun right now. On your marks, get set, go. Move and start flipping. I find the bottle flipping was pretty amazing and like something that someone made up out of bottles makes it into a math lesson. It shows students mathematics is there in situations where you would often least expect it. Every lesson that I produce is recorded. <laughs> Uh, I started doing this several years ago to help a sick student. Now, five years later, there's more than 100,000 people who are subscribed to watch the videos every time they come out. And when you look at all of the content that I've produced, they've been watched over 8 million times. Uh, right now, I am taking some of the videos that I shot in my lessons and I've edited them together, I've uploaded them, what I love is that this enables students to learn on their own terms. The videos are being watched 24 hours a day, non-stop, 365 days a year. New Zealand, 50,000. Every African nation. Greenland, 70 views. That's great. That place is mostly ice. I'm amazed. Seeing that global reach is just it's astonishing and it's a great privilege for me to be able to share the knowledge that I have with people around the world. Congratulations, it's really good to see you. Today is a celebration of everything that our graduating students have achieved. Some of them, it's their best mark that they received throughout all of the courses that they study. I couldn't be more delighted in what they've achieved. I used to suck at it, I hated maths. And then I had Mr Wu in year 11. I would not be where I am today if I didn't have him as a teacher. My dream for the students whom I teach and people around the world who are getting to watch my videos is that they learn to understand that mathematics is a beautiful thing.